Good morning, Choctaw. I'm Sam. And I'm Angelique. And you're watching Tribal, Tribal News. News. On this week's show, we look into the Valentine's Day traditions of our students and staff. We also get to learn about psychology, creative writing, and WBGI. Registration is right around the corner. The registration codes for psychology, creative writing, and WBGI can be found on Choctaw's course catalog online or by scanning the QR code to the catalog and guidance. Hi, I'm Ms. Lagazino. Um, I teach psychology and sociology because I find it fascinating. Um, psychology is about looking at the individual mind and why we do the things that we do. And sociology is examining how those relationships work at a group dynamic, how we interact with one another. Um, and I find all of that super fascinating. It is my background. I have a degree in psychology and I'm glad I get to use it. So psychology and sociology each are a semester long. Um, AP psychology is a full year and you have the potential to get college credit and it's weighted a little bit differently. Um, in all of the classes, we do fun, hands-on activities and escape rooms, movie analysis, thought-provoking discussions. It's a good time. Um, sociology and psychology are kind of about the study of mental processes and how they also relate to daily life. It goes more into detail about, like, uh, personality and now we're learning about implicit biases, so... Uh, the reason why I like this class is because it doesn't just give you a brief summary about, like, again, the mental processes and studies, but it also goes into detail about why they happen in different types of psychology and sociology, such as, like, um, function functionalists and such. And I like Ms. Legazito's teaching style because she's always very positive and doesn't, she does, she's very just optimistic in general. My goal with creative block writing is to help the students be able to express themselves a little bit better than just having to write a, a nonfiction essay. So I want to help them to be able to write fiction and to write something that maybe fits their style a little bit more, to help their, get their creative side going. Creative writing is an excellent way to be able to express yourself, even if you're not sure if you like writing at all. Uh, this is a class that you will, I hope, come to enjoy writing because we have to do a lot of different things. We do a lot of fun projects as well as just writing a short story. The main goal is to help you learn how to write a short story. But we also have some fun stuff we do in between. And one of those is we are going to write a children's book. And we also do explore the use of uh, micrography. And I'll teach anyone how to say that as well as do it. Our creative writing class, it's a nice class where you can express your creative mind, obviously in the name. Um, with a lot of words, a lot of stories. Yeah, um, we tell a bunch of stories here and there. Um, ju different genres, different kinds, different types. She's a very nice teacher, very sweet one. Um, she really cares about her students, cares about the plan. Uh, she sets up, uh, I'd say, a pretty nice class period, a nice class setting, gets everyone involved, I'd say. I've always had an interest in journalism. My bachelor's degree is in um, communications, both for writing and broadcast journalism. I think that students that have an interest in putting the news out or making production videos, anyone that has an interest in filming, filming and editing and um, even being an anchor should think of taking WBGI. WBGI is our broadcast journalism class. Uh, we post on YouTube and we try and get information out there on different programs and different organizations uh, and we feature them on our channel. Um, it's a very fun uh, process. We are always editing and always trying to film and interview new people, um, but it's it's very fun with uh, how busy we are and the organization that goes into everything. Now we get to hear from our students and staff about what they did on February 14th.
what are you doing for Valentine's? So I'm not really doing anything, but my mom always gets me like stuff for Valentine's Day, like a bear, candy. And I think we should really emphasize that point that Valentine's Day isn't only about romantic love, it's about all types of love, like family love, platonic love. So yeah. Hey Julio, so what are you doing for Valentine's? Well, me and my girlfriend, we're gonna go eat at a restaurant. <laughs> and you know, we're gonna go do something after, so. So what are you doing for Valentine's? Well, I'm married to Coach Crandall, and they have a baseball game, so I guess I'm going to a baseball game. <laughs> what are you doing at the baseball game? I'm um, cheering on Choctaw, hoping that they get a win against Niceville. Um, but I did buy chocolates and something else for Coach Crandall, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't want him to know what it is yet. Okay, well, go Choctaw. Yeah, go Choctaw. <laughs> Yay. Uh, do you have any special plans for Valentine's Day? Um, I'm probably going to be home playing Minecraft, like I usually do, Yeah. Um, every day. Right. Um, if you were to ask a celebrity to be your Valentine's, who would it be? Lizzo. Oh yeah, I, I, I could just I could see that. Uh, do you like romantic movies? No, they're scary. What's your favorite romance movie? Sharknado. Do you have any special blends for Valentine's Day? Um, probably just stay home, eat chocolate with my lonesome. I feel you, man. Maybe listen to Broadway. I feel you. Yeah. If you were to ask any celebrity to be your Valentine's, who would it be? Um, I'm gonna go with Natalie Portman. Yeah. Okay. Sturdy. Val, Val, P. Question. Do you like romantic movies? Uh, no. Not at all. I feel like you're bad. Yeah. But if you did have one, what would be your favorite romantic movie? Um, Charlie Brown. He supports. All the things I support in my life. Yeah, Snoopy. Mm -hmm. SP. SP. Very P. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Pageant night is tomorrow for Miss CHS. Tickets are $5 on GoFans. Next week, on February 23rd, we will be having the first Mr. Mock since 2019. You can find your tickets on GoFans. The senior jump shot is February 22nd after fourth period. Please report to the stadium when called. Paperwork for registration is due next week. All of your paperwork needs to be signed off by your parents and teachers before registering in your language arts period in the library. Make sure you check your email, Choctaw's Instagram, and Facebook for more updates. That's all for today, Choctaw. Till next time. time.